was oh, okay yeah so it was in Steinmark and they had it for fifty dollars and then it's it'd be half of twenty five today which is what about twelve twelve fifty Today is Monday, uh, May 29th. It's actually Memorial Day. And um, I decided to pop into one of my favorite stores here locally. Salvation Army. <laughs> Let's see what they have today. Um, they have a lot of things on sale. Today, would it be a Monday, they do that. They have um, a couple more um, colored tags on sale on Mondays and with today being Memorial Day they have an additional sale so I guess everything, all clo all the clothing items are 50% off and then um, I think some of the tags are even $1.99 so just thought I'd stop in here and see what I could find if I already got one thing in the buggy I call it a buggy I'm from Alabama so <laughs> southern so some people say buggy some people say cart I say buggy so that's what I'm in here doing now trying to see what I can find in here today um, and like I said before many of you if you've watched any of my other little thrifting type of videos y'all know that I prefer to shop this way for most things just because that's just the way I like to shop it's not out of necessity I just enjoy it and you know I've been shopping like this for so long I just kind of hate to spend over a certain amount of money on clothes because it's not that serious to me I like nice clothes don't get me wrong I like nice things but I just don't like spending the most if I don't have to so I'm sure many of you can understand that but yeah, so I'm just in here today, just trying to see what I can find and um, bring y'all along with me to see what we what we what we end up with on this little shopping adventure. So yeah, I pick out a few things and I'll show you some of the things that we get. So stay tuned. started thrift shopping I didn't really know what I was doing um, and if I just if I looked at the front of something and it looked fine I would just pick it up but I had to learn that you can't just do that you need to you know check out the items front back all around 
I would buy items and then um, they would have holes in the back or whatever, a rip in the back. And I'm like, what? So, yeah, we're here at the Salvation Army. You can't actually return. Well, this particular one, I'm not sure if that's the case for all stores, but you can't return items once you've purchased them. So, the, you know, a good idea to make sure you check over things thoroughly to make sure you're not in a situation where you've purchased something and then you can't do anything with it unless you want to try to sew it or fix it yourself. But, yeah, I'm not the one to be doing all of that. Um, my husband is actually he's um, he's gotten into sewing he learned to sew when we were in uh, Tanzania he learned to sew there so he's been making quite a few things but he's trying to focus more on like custom clothing so him sewing up a bunch of little shirts for me it's not what he's just really trying to do but yeah, here's, some, here's something that's new but it's the summertime looking for summer items Let's see. my daughter has gotten to where she's you know she's growing up but she's a little bit harder to shop for now I guess she's coming into more of her style and what she likes and doesn't like and um you know, it was so much easier when she was a little bit younger and I could just, I mean, I know I still, as a mother, I'm still able to choose her clothing, which, you know, we don't do anything, let her do anything too crazy or outrageous, but she's got her own little style in which, you know, when she was younger, it was all about the little dresses and the this and the that. And she does not want to wear skirts and stuff all the time which I mean I can understand that but still it just shows me how when they start to to grow up and have their own sense of style it's just it's a part of them growing up Mixed in, so not really fine at 
she looks, I mean, there are options, but like I said, she's getting kind of picky. Well, let's go see. Shorts. These are cute size of these. If they have any in the section with the jeans by chance. Too short. I know they're short, but they too short. Too short of shorts. <laughs> too short. I don't want them, you know, really short. She's a little girl, so. Okay. These were longer. <laughs> Those would be fine, but it's a little bit too short for me. Say for me, but for me and her dad also, <laughs> she would have a fit. She had those. On. Well, I guess we continue to look. Nova, but here's some Fashion Nova jeans. And so today, what would they be? Um, Seven fifty for this pair. I don't know how much they would. I guess you can look it up and see, but how much they would be if you ordered them online. But here they are. That's a different style. Uh, <laughs> better ones they're on, but they look kind of, I don't know, a weird style, so weird cut or something, whatever, just trying to say, so yeah, size 11 uh, jeans, fashion over, brand new. I really didn't even come in here for me, I was, just, you know, looking for a few summer things for my daughter. Um, but I thought about it. Seems like I'm missing clothes. And I really hadn't even been shopping for myself because I don't know how I just been feeling like I have enough. I don't need to get anything. But I do like to just come look from time to time to see what's, what's what. But if I find something that I like today, let me go ahead and get it. Well, these pants are kind of cute. They really have, yeah, it would be nice to be able to wear just to 
somebody. It's an extra small. I think these may be cute. I'm trying to make sure the size of them. Let's see. Okay, so medium. It's like an extra small. Yeah. I'm going to get these. Seem to be comfortable to wear out. And these are, they okay. easily like $3. Let's find a top to go with them. I don't have anything like this, so I think I might get these. They're really cute. So I have a pair of pants and a pair of Birkenstock sandals. Okay, so I just saw this, and this is brand new. It's actually cute. I'm gonna see if I can step back so you can see how much of it is. A um, it's what you call this a romper. I don't know. I might get this too. <laughs> just you know, for oh wait a minute, this is the front of it. Yeah, I'm not getting this. Yeah, because. Yeah, this part of it. Now, this was the back. I would do it, you know, if I like to wear it on a date. I'm assuming that's the, let's see. Because I would think that this is the back of it, but the tag is right here, so. Mm -hmm. So, there's the tag. So, yeah. I'm assuming the tag, the tag represents the back of it. So yeah, I, I wouldn't want this to be out in the front. But so if it wasn't made like that, if this was in the back, then I probably would. But yeah, so this was from Kohl's. It was $48. And today this would be on sale for, what, um, $7.50? It's cute, but yeah, I don't like the cutout being in the front. Oh, am I looking at it wrong? I think that's right. I mean, the tag is in the back, so, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Here's another new items address, and this will be... Oh, okay, it's came from Steinmark. Well, where did it come from? So, this... Okay, so, I guess it has this tag on it showing it would be $100. This... Oh, okay, yeah, so it was in Steinmark and they had it for $50 and then it's to be half of 25 today, which is what, about 12, 12.50? Right. Yeah, 12.50. It's a nice dress, not the right size, but um, yeah. I mean, I know many of you all know that those that do shop secondhand know that there are new item so this is no revelation to you but for people who do not know that yeah, you can find brand new items in the thrift stores and I kind of look at it like even if you go to a store where you know any retail store that does not sell secondhand items if people have come in there and tried on the clothes they have been on someone else and maybe not for extended periods but you know when people come back and return items they maybe you don't know some people buy the item brand new and tuck the tag in and wear it to where they want to wear it and then bring it back i read something about that recently someone was um they worked at like Saks uh fifth avenue and they were saying that it's become a um like a second hand a luxury second hand store because people come in and purchase these expensive clothes and um and this one particular incident lady had purchased like an outfit it was like three thousand dollars and um purchased it and wore it for what she was needing to wear it to and returned it with the, with the tag still on it. So I personally don't see too much of a difference. And I've also seen you know, documentaries where they show these um, luxury brands, how they just throw away a lot of their inventory, you know, um, or or destroy it so that it can't they instead of them like discount it they would rather just destroy it you know rather than 
to, you know, have it at a discounted price so people can buy it. And, you know, that's not really my thing anyway. I don't, if I saw something in here and I thought, well, yeah, this is a, a steal, I probably would, depending on what it is, but I'm just not really into a lot of the big luxury brands, um, especially not to spend three thousand dollars on the outfit just because it has a luxury name attached to it that's not me but yeah so that's that's kind of how i look at it like people come try on clothes and they get them and return them so in, in my mind it's used so why not just come to somewhere like this and pay the you know least amount for it and it's used just like the other stuff that people have returned or tried on. So that's just my logic. So y'all let me know. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree if people have returned items just because it's at a, a retail store that's not a secondhand store, which you consider it to be used or not? So that's what I think. But I would like to know what y'all think. I know I ask sometimes, you know, let me know in the comments. And not too many people comment, but shout out to my cousin Adrian, who will get the conversation going with me. I appreciate that, but I'm looking for other people to, to chime in too. Let me know what you think. So I like to to talk and bounce around, you know, and not to say what I'm saying is just correct. If you disagree, you disagree, and that's fine. And maybe I can see your side. So, but I would like to know what you think. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. now on the other side of the store i'm not a real huge collector of like cookware but this kind of caught my eye i think this is cute there's a cute little pattern on this um what do you call it like tableware or whatever it's different Oh, this is really pretty. I like this. I purchased a few um, China pieces from like the thrift store. Oh, this is nice. Sold as a set for $49. It's pretty. Play set for eight people for $49.99. Okay, so we're all done in there. I did spend a little bit more than what I, I didn't really have a, a set price in mind, but the shoes ended up not being on sale, but I figured I'd get them anyway. And um, end up getting some things for my daughter's room to go on the wall. I think we're gonna, we're gonna paint those to make them how she wants them. Got my son, a couple pair of jeans and some clothes and I got some lotion from bath and body works so i spent well I rounded up 15 cents so what was it 64 dollars so i think i got a, quite a few items for 64 dollars but like I, said, I wasn't didn't have a set price in mind but i did think the shoes were going to be on sale but it didn't include the shoes or those um like i said the pieces that i'm gonna put on my daughter's wall but yeah I think I got a, quite a few items for 63.85 was the total 
like I said, I did round up. Made a 64. So I'm done. I was gonna try to find what she was looking for for her um, wall. And I'm sure like if I was going in Hobby Lobby or somewhere, it had been, it'd been you know, much more than what I paid for. But I did find them there. And it's such a pretty day outside. I just like to show you the some of the, the greenery. So beautiful today. Not too hot. Hope everybody's enjoying their Memorial Day. And I'm about to head home. But thanks so much for shopping with me today. Um, I hope you enjoy some of the things I was able to show you and I hope you enjoy this video as always thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to let me know what you think about um the used clothes uh, <laughs> subject in the in the comments but until the next video oh yeah and I forgot to say if you haven't subscribed to my channel already I'd appreciate it if you would go ahead and do so um I look to continue to make content I want to bring you out with me to do different things maybe you know things like this and other things as well but if you haven't subscribed already i appreciate it if you would subscribe like comment share and until the next video i will see you later bye bye